congenital anomalies like anemia and Irish processes. Therapy, laser trabeculoplasty, goniotopy or gonioplasty, reopening of block trabeculotomy opening, identification gonioscopy to break and attack of acute angle closure glaucoma. Now the methods of gonioscopy, two types, direct gonioscopy and indirect gonioscopy. Among indirect gonioscopy, indentation and non-indentation gonioscopy. Direct gonioscopy, like this from angle are viewed directly without reflection inside the gonio lens. Anterior part of the gonio lens is such that critical angle is not raised. Uses gonioscopy in children for diagnostic purpose and surgical goniotomy. Different types of gonio lens here, Opie, Barkan, Swan Jacob, or Research on Schaefer and Leiden. Now the picture showing direct gonioscopy, uh, OP lens, Swan Jacob direct gonio lens, Barkan direct gonio lens. Advantages it provides panoramic view of the entire circumference. Very useful to compare the angle of twice by looking at them simultaneously. Can also be used for gonioidomy and gonioidomysis. Disadvantage expensive, difficult to learn, less magnification, dash in proofs of fine. Indirect gonioscopy. The light rays are reflected by mirror in the contact lens. Provide mirror image of the opposite angle. Used in conjunction with a slit lamp. Advantage. Excellent view. Slit lamp optics. Weak, convenient. No special equipment triggers. Allow indentation and stabilization of the globe. Disadvantage. Mirror image can be conf confusing. Inadvantage pressure of the globe. Narrowing or widening the angle. Slit lamp is mandatory. And corneal gas due to the ophthalmic viscoelastic devices. Non indentation gonioscopy. The curvature of the contact surface of the lens is steeper than that of the cornea. To bridge the gap, a viscous coupling agent is refractive. Index similar to the two cornea is used. Lens is whole band single, two mirror, three mirror gonio lens is used. Indentation gonioscopy. Pressure is applied to the cornea with direct contact lens. The contact surface of the lens is, has a curvature flatter than the cornea, so no need of coupling fit. The lenses do not stabilize the globe. Zeiss, Forschner, Sussman, Thor are example of four mirror gonio lens. Here picture showing different types of uh, four mirror gonio lens. First picture is uh, Zeiss gonio lens, Forschner, and the third one is Sussman. Now the procedure. <coughs> First we have to counseling the patient the procedure why it is important to do. It is harmless and painless procedure and should be performed in the dark room. Anesthetize the cornea. Insert the lens with or without coupling device according to necessary. Initially look up. Lens inserts gently and stabilize the glow. Use short beam of light to avoid illumination of the pupil. To manipulate, ask patient to look the direction of the mirror. Now what we look for? Level of the iris insertion, shape and profile of peripheral iris, estimated angle wide, degree of trabecular pigmentation, and any iris to trabecular contact, appositional or sinic. The gonoscopic view of the angle structures. First, solvest line, <coughs> most anteriorly located peripheral termination of the desmid membrane and anterior limit of the trabeculum. Whitish to variably pigmented, best located by identifying the corneal OS. Trabecular measure lies between the surface line anteriorly and sclerar square posteriorly. Anterior non pigmented part is non-functional, then posterior functional pigmented part has a grayish to translucent appearance. Scleral spur, anterior projection of a sclera, situated just posterior to the trabecular measure and appears as a narrow, dense, white, shiny, whitish band, sometimes obscured by Irish process and pigments. Ciliary body band lies just behind the scleral spur as a pink to dull brown or slate gray band portion of the ciliary body which is visible in the angle as a result of insertion of the iris into the ciliary body. Iris processes, sometimes normal variants, appears in fine piliform stands extended from its iris to spiral spur. These do not inhibit the movement of the iris in the indentation gonioscopy. Now the grading system of gonioscopy. Commonly three uh, most commonly used systems are Schaeffer's grading, SPI and SPI. Most clinical use Schaeffer's grading system. Now, grade 4 with the widest angle in case of 
while get seed to again. The ciliary body can be visualized without yielding the lens. Red 3 is an open angle in which clearance is far is visible. Red 2, higher trabecular, is an angle in which the trabeculum but not the sclerar spell can be seen. Red 1, very narrow, where solvest line only can be identified. Slit angle, no obvious iodic corneal contact but two angle structure can be identified. And red 0, total iodic corneal contact. So here indentation will distinguish a position from sinical angle. Ski systems, according to the ski systems, angle of the entry chamber is graded following based on the visualized structures. But higher the grid, narrower the angle. This is the uh, opposite to the clinically used shaper grading. Speed goniscopic grading system, this system grades the angle as a combination of the following findings. Level of Irish insertion, Irish configuration, pigmentation of the posterior trabecular measure. So, this described details, but is used, underused clinically. Now, the documentation of goniscopic findings by goniogram. The first picture shows uh, structure based. Here uh, is a broad uh, cross X. Within the circle, we uh, uh, document the uh, posterior visible findings, like uh, in right eye, inferior angle, uh, inferior quadrant, ciliary body is visible. So we documented it uh, within the circle. Any other findings we should document, like uh, pigmentation. <coughs> Uh, and any uh, angle recession or any foreign body should document it uh, in that quadrant outside of the circles. Now, uh, another picture for uh, numerical documentation. Same structure is visible but uh, presented as a uh, numerical value. When uh, iodic corneal contact occurs or slit angle, two angle structure is visible, so quadrant is expressed as zero. Indentation bone is to be differentiate the position or sinical angle position and document it uh, should be like this. Now the factor influence the findings, some patient factors and some observer based factors. Patient factors are due to size, lens size, patient cooperation and observer based entrapment of air in the corneal lens and corneal, excessive pressure causing corneal fold, unstable hands, improper focusing and lack of experience. Now the pathological findings. Peripheral anterior sinica, primary angle pressure glaucoma, anterior pressure on iridocorneal cornea and the thylacine syndrome. Sometimes we find new vascularization occurs in new vascular glaucoma, folks, heterochromic lymphitis and chronic anterior lymphitis. Uh, Hyperpigmentation also occurs in uh, some cases. Uh, due to trauma, angle decision, trabecular dialysis, cyclodialysis, foreign body can be found. Blood in the Schlem's canal, some physiological variants due to pressure over the epistral venous. Episcleral vein, erotic cavernous fistula, stars waiver syndrome, and obstruction of the superior managua. Uh, some pathological conditions angle closure glaucoma. First angle is occluded appositionally, followed by sticky adhesion, and later peripheral anterior sinica over the wide area. Here, no structure is visible. Peripheral anterior sinica, not pathognomonic for any single disease, but tends to form first superiorly. In angle closure glaucoma, inferiorly uveitis, and post traumatic cases, anywhere. So, we first uh, look to the inferior angle. Place to Irish configuration, special configuration of the Irish where Irish print convicts with a sharp backward Irish angulation over the anterior position or anteriorly oriented ciliary body. Potential for causing angle closure glaucoma and gonoscopy double from pattern is visible. New vascular glaucoma uh, is. New vessels formation occurs in on Irish and anterior chamber and frequently associated with severe form of glaucoma known as new vascular glaucoma. Here, some new vessels are seen. Pigmentary glaucoma, heavy pigment uh, dispersion in the trabecular measure. Typically, patients are young, my big male, uniform band of pigmentation, especially at superior part of the anterior chamber. Angle. The pigs are showing uh, uniform band of uh, pigmentation. Pseudo exfoliation. Here, associated with excessive pigment dispersion, which leads to increased pigmentation of the trabecular measure and enter to the surface line, <coughs> that's called some policy line. Here, picks are of angle recession and uh, posterior embryo. So, this is the found in mesodermal diseases. 
axial field anomaly regards anomaly and axial field regards syndrome schlem's canal blood uh, we already discussed some physiological variation and some pathological conditions uh, ic syndrome or uh, i means uh, irish nevus common distinct or chandler syndrome and essential irish atrophy where irish processes is inserted anterior to uh, solvest line aniridia where rudimentary irish process in gonestop may be sporadic autosomal dominant or recessive sporadic condition associated with wilms tumor the pics are showing irish melanoma irish nevus high fever and foreign body in anterior chamber anterior chamber angle an useful mnemonic for uh, anterior chamber angle structures from posterior to anterior i can see the line here that means irish and ciliary body spiral spur trabecular mesial solvus line and lastly cordial trichum meses gonescopy is a subjective procedure it is easy to perform but laborious to learn it takes little time to comment but take a long time to master so practice is the key so i want to uh, before thanks i want to show a, a short video on gonisco findings
tangle new vascularization so uh, arborizing uh, less pattern and a prominent irish process that inserts anterior to the uh, solvest line <coughs> uh, also irish process this is the uh, This is the ciliary uh, in found in uh, psychodialysis and due to trauma. Thank you. Thank you for the question, sir. Uh, thank, thank you, you presenter. Uh, thank, you. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Now I would like to request Dr. Shomar for the next question. Thank you. Thank you, presenter, for your nice and elaborate presentation. Uh, uh, many things discussed. Uh, probably there is nothing outside this, but among this uh, discussion, uh, many things we do not do. So I request uh, students to ask the question uh, to the presenter, please. Hello? Hello? Shuna Jai? Yes, sir. Have. <coughs> Students, please ask the question to the presenter regarding gonioscopy. Because Shuna Nagi look over comment the Shuna Sana. Shuna Nagi look over Students, thank you, uh, presenter. Thank you, presenter, for your nice uh, presentation and uh, hard work. Nice and nice to ask you a question. What is uh, standard goniogram and uh, color code uh, we should use to document the findings of uh, goniogram? Actually, uh, in case of goniogram, uh, it's supposed to uh, document the findings of gonioscopy where a circle is used and broad cross or X type figure is used inside the circle. Where the findings of the gonioscopic findings is documented within the circle according to quadrant. And the findings of outside the, uh, 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 outside the circle, we found associated findings uh, like uh, uh, pigmentation as uh, any that's, that's what you uh, have shown in your slide. Uh, but apart from that, there is another standard method of documenting the uh, findings that is three circle method. Uh, outer circle is uh, showing the split lamp, represents the, uh, represent the solid line. The middle circle is a clear and bar, and the inner circle is clear and And in between the uh, solid line and clear and bar, shows the area of particular measure and in between the clear part and clear body it is the uh, retail, angle retail. So any finding in this area you can document uh, in clockwise uh, orientation or in quadrant by orientation and total grading of the angle is uh, documented uh, outside the uh, outer circle. And this is one of the uh, methods and the color code can be used uh, by um, different uh, pathology like if you uh, plot uh, in uh, red color, there is a cyanacea, orange color, there is a pigmentation, black color, depigmentation, purple color, uh, and also there, if there is any uh, uh, membrane that is uh, colored in yellow color. Thank you. Thank you. doctor for your nice presentation my question is uh, you have shown the double hump pattern Can you please say uh, what the central pattern indicates and what's the peripheral hump indicates uh, uh, on goniscopic findings a uh, double hump pattern found in, uh, in case of place irish configuration and the question is central pattern central pattern uh, central hump indicates uh, is uh, it's supported by lens and peripheral hump is due to the anteriorly oriented or uh, uh, anteriorly uh, insertion of the ciliary body. So there is a pattern, a double hump pattern. 
peripheral one is for ciliary body, central one is for legs. Thank you. Students don't uh, lose the time because it's very short time. It's only 10 minutes. You need to ask many questions. Sir, Assalamualaikum, sir. Sir, myself, uh, Major Shaman. Uh, I have a question to present us. Uh, with the help of colonoscopy, uh, can you differentiate IC syndrome, uh, IDs, uh, and IDs new vessel, and uh, normal vessel in uh, the Of course. 
there are uh, uh, there is a uh, there are indirect colonoscopy and uh, direct colonoscopy, and uh, the, and we can identify the angle structure through this uh, colonoscopy. And there there is a uh, uh, we identify the solid uh, slide, the corneal wedge, the trabeculum, transparent, paraciliary corneoscopy, and the blood vessels. And there are some uh, grading of the uh, angle of the uh, uh, angle of the uh, grading of the angle with the, there are uh, shapers system and the, uh, and, the, uh, and also speed grading system and uh, and about the manual method we can use the slit lamp alone to estimate the anterior chamber along with angle width and there are some pathological finding uh, we can identify the uh, 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 bronchoscopy uh, 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 like uh, peripheral anterior side here. New vascularization, hyperpigmentation, blood in the slam skin, and the trauma. Uh, next. next. Next, anyone present? Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Farzana Arnish. By conioscopy, we, we can uh, identify, uh, by immigration conioscopy, we can identify panicia present or not. And the disinfectants, infecta, infectants are uh, for conoscope are alcohol, deuterendehyde, sodium, hypochlorite, formalin, and phenol. Thank you. Anyone? Anyone? Of an attack, improved IOP doesn't necessarily mean that angle has opened. 
because uh, IOP may remain low for many weeks due to ciliary body ischemia and there by reduced excess production. So a second or serial gonoscopy to re-evaluate the angle is essential for follow-up. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. क्लियर डायमिटर 
বা থ্রি মিটার কন্টাফেসের ডায়ামিটার কর কত কোনটা কি অ্যাডভান্টেজ কি জন্য ব্যবহার হয় এটা বলতে গেলে অনেক সময় লাগে আমি জাস্ট টাচ করে যাচ্ছি এই জিনিসগুলো আমাদের জানতেই হবে কিন্তু কারণ আমরা তো থ্রি মিটার কন্টাক্ট লেন্স দিয়ে তো আমি ইন্ডেন্টেশন করতে পারবো না ভয় এবং থ্রি মিটার কন্টাক্ট ইন্ডেন্টেশন করা হয় কখন করা হয় কি দেখা হয় এই জিনিসগুলো জানতে হবে আমরা শুধু পার্সোনাল লেন্স দিয়ে যে অ্যাঙ্গেল দেখব সেটার জন্য না আমরা থ্রি মিটার কন্টাক্ট লেন্সের ইন্ডেন্টেশন দরকার আছে সেটা ইম্পর্টেন্ট আমি ইন্টারনেট বলে স্যারকে রেখে দিলাম লাস্ট একটা পোস্ট রেখে যাচ্ছি ইন্টারনেট বলে স্যারের কাছে এই ন্যারো অ্যাঙ্গেলের দুইটা শব্দ আছে অক্লোডেবল এট অ্যাপোজিশনাল আমার চেয়ারম্যান এর কাছে রিকোয়েস্ট এই দুইটা আমাকে আমাকে আমাদের ডিক্লেয়ার করে দিবেন थैंक यू वेरी मच হ্যালো এনিবডি হ্যাঁ কোন স্যার বলেন সেগুলো তো গুনিয়স্কোপি করা যায় না সেখানে 
during the rest of it, the room should be uh, clean. Uh, uh, one thing, and second thing, uh, patient uh, eye position, primary position. We have to keep a uh, target to the patient. We have to look that target. Uh, this should be maintained. And uh, during gonioscopy, the slit lamp a light should not cross over the people. Uh, if it is uh, cross over the people, the uh, angle uh, distance can be changed. Uh, this is a few from me. I think other things. Uh, normal and abnormal finding already presented by the presenter. Thank you, presenter, uh, for that presentation. Moderator, Dr. Shamarendranath, for that moderation. And uh, started by Dr. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, sir. Now, uh, today's announcement tomorrow, our morning session uh, will be from uh, the New Department. Basic aspect of visual pathway presenter Dr. Rajesh Sarkar, Chairman, Professor Mohammad Ahmed sir, and moderator Dr. Shamal Kumar Sardas sir. At today's hour class, 12 pm to 1 pm uh, from Pediatric Department, by Shubhanalu Madam. Madam will take class in the classroom. Thank you, sir. Sir, leave call on, sir.